Hopefully you can hear me over the wind noise. Today is December 17th, 2016, and while I was feeding the horses today, I saw the first jackrabbit of the year out at the hay shed. So I guess it still remains to be seen if there'll be a problem this winter, but this may be a foretaste of things to come. Well, this is the evening of Sunday, December 18th. Uh, I just got back from church. As you can see, I'm still wearing my good hat. Um, anyway, on the way back from church, I saw upwards of a dozen jackrabbits kind of scurrying all over the road. So I'm thinking I'd better go patrol the hay shed tonight before I turn in. Um, I don't really have a good way to bring the camera with me, but I'll let you know if I get anything. And there is the first kill of this winter. This was the only rabbit out here, and I got him, so thankfully the swarms haven't found my hay shed yet. Well, it's Tuesday, December 20th, and here's number two. I caught this one as I was out feeding the horses again. But, so far, at least I'm not seeing the swarms like I saw last winter. The 44 Magnum kind of makes a mess of these jackrabbits, but that was what I had on me at the time, so that's what I shot it with. December 21st. It is a cold, foggy evening, but the jackrabbit war is heating up. I killed three rabbits at the hay shed this evening. Probably four. I took a shot at a fourth one, but he still ran away, even though I think I hit him. Well, it's December 22nd. Uh, there were two skirmishes today. One in the pre-dawn twilight. Uh, I shone a light out towards my hay shed, and about a half a dozen rabbits started scattering in all directions. I got about three shots off. Uh, one of the rabbits I shot at hopped about six feet and then promptly expired. A uh, second one hopped about 60 feet, and, but I found him dead later. And the third one, as far as I can tell, got clean away. Uh, then this evening, when I was out feeding the horses, uh, I came upon two more rabbits, uh, shot at both of them. In this case, I think I was shooting low because they both ran away but in both cases I was pretty sure they were running on three legs. Unfortunately, these jackrabbits can run almost as fast on three legs as they can on four. Um, nevertheless, uh, I think at least one of them holed up under my uh, horse trailer. Don't have a good way to get him out, but for judging by the amount of blood on the snow, I think there's a good chance he'll bleed and or freeze to death under there over the night. And Maybe tomorrow I can move the trailer and recover the body. Um, as a rule, I don't count a rabbit as a confirmed kill until I can recover the body. Uh, so, so far today that's only two confirmed kills, which brings the total for this war to seven. December 23rd, 6.30 a.m. December 23rd, 7.30 a.m. Well, between the two rabbits that I recovered from under the horse trailer and the casualties from the two skirmishes this morning, that is seven more confirmed kills for a total of 14. 
Well, good morning, YouTube. It is a snowy Christmas Eve, and the jackrabbits are on the offensive. When it's snowing this hard, use of artificial light is generally counterproductive because so much of the light reflects off the snowflakes, you get this glitter screen between you and the target that makes tar target acquisition difficult. Um, uh, so, this morning in the pre-dawn skirmish, I tried to shoot rabbits without the aid of artificial light. Um, the light transmission of that Leupold Mark IV scope that I've got on my AR is good enough. I was actually able to see and fire upon targets, but again, with the low light, tar target acquisition is much slower, and so I didn't get off as many shots as I would have hoped. Um, you know, a lot of times when a rabbit hears a noise, is startled, but doesn't see an obvious threat, it'll jump up, run a few feet, stop, and, you know, kind of listen and look to see what's going on before it then takes off and runs all the way to the next county. Um, and so if you time that correctly, you can usually shoot them when they stop. But in low light or because of the glitter screen with the snow, if you're using artificial light, uh, I can't usually line up the sights fast enough in order to make that shot um, in poor lighting conditions. Uh, so, so that was a bit of a, a disadvantage for me and advantage for the rabbits today. Nevertheless, uh, I did manage to bag three more. So three more confirmed kills and there very well may be a few more out there. Um, two of these were already covered with a layer of snow by the time I got to them, so there could well be another one or, or even more out there that are just buried in snow and I couldn't find them. December 25th. Looks to me like the rabbits intend to have a Christmas feast at my expense. Well, this little holiday skirmish left 11 more dead. Merry Christmas from the Idahoan Show. It's still Christmas Day, but not long after I got back from dispatching those 11 jackrabbits that you just saw, the rabbits came right back to the hay shed and I shot four more. So that makes 15 total for today and 32 kills total for this winter. 6th, 8.30 a.m. The rabbits, which up until yesterday seemed to be mostly nocturnal, seem to be growing bolder in daylight. Early morning sunshine on the hills is sure pretty. And five more confirmed kills makes 37. December 26th, 4.15 p.m. Looks like the rabbits are gearing up for another offensive. Well, through gross negligence on my part, I only had three shells in the magazine when I went out tonight. But at least I made those three shots count. That brings the total kill count to 42. December 28th, another day, another skirmish. It's so cold that the muzzle blast from my rifle condenses instantly and creates a cloud in front of my uh, scope that obscures my vision. So I wasn't able to get off many shots. 
But let's see if I hit anything. Now there's one I didn't hit. I guess I came out too soon. Well, I think that's the first time I've actually killed a rabbit with my foot before. I don't think he's quite dead yet, either. Maybe this is a good opportunity to show you the proper technique for putting down a wounded rabbit. Uh, except I'm not sure how I'm going to do this while still holding the flashlight. There we go. Okay. What we want to do is grab him by the hind legs, pick him up, and just bash his head against uh, a fence post or something hard. There we go. Yeah, that seems to have done him in. He's convulsing a little, but... Well, one more rabbit shot and another one stomped on. That brings our total to 44 confirmed kills. It is the morning of December 30th, and the total confirmed kill count has risen to 63. December 30th, the sun is setting and the rabbits are moving in. I rigged up this little bracket so that I could mount a camera on the side of my rifle. Hopefully that'll get us some better action shots. Wow, look at those mountains rising out of the mist. I love living out here. Well, it is December 31st, and the confirmed kill count has risen to 72. Uh, I'm headed into town to celebrate with family this evening, so I think this will be the final count for 2016. Good morning, YouTube. This is now the 100th rabbit that I've killed this winter, in terms of confirmed kills, anyway. The rest of this video will just be the best of the kill shot footage that I was able to recover from my rifle-mounted camera.